Good day, traders. The four-step method to high-performance trading is a free course download for increasing your confidence and your ability to execute your trading edge in live time. The link for the download is in the description box below. And the free audio program, the seven-step daily routine for high-performance traders is also a free download to develop your discipline, your confidence, and a winning mindset to master the markets. Again, the download for these links is in the description box. They're both free downloads. Let's get started. Today, traders, uh, for traders that may be watching uh, this video today for the first time or you've just stumbled across the channel, uh, this video links to a playlist that covers all the other information that you may have questions about in terms of timings, levels, setups, behavior of price, the templates, day one, day two, day three, pump and dumps, dump and pumps, and uh, I'll continue to con break down and add to this playlist. Uh, so as you go through the video today, if you find that you're missing pieces, go back to this playlist. It will answer all of your questions. Let's get started. So today we're going to be talking about uh, trigger day signals and setups that play out. And uh, I'll repeat this right off the bat. Monday's day one, Tuesday's day two, Wednesday's day three. Wednesday resets and becomes day one into the closing range of the week. Two, uh, Thursday is day two and Friday is day three. So we have a Monday to Wednesday template and a Wednesday to Friday template. I talk about free cash Wednesdays, free cash Fridays. Go back and watch the previous few videos on that. Specifically, if you're struggling or you're not consistent, focus on Wednesday and Friday, day three setups that are Wednesday and Fridays. Uh, but within that, I've talked about three day setups and we have Day three breakout traders in the market, whether that is in the long direction or the short direction, we can have a first red day setup. We can have a first green day setup and we have inside days. Now these are trigger days. So as I have repeated in the past, you can get a signal day, but you still need to have a daily template set up with that signal day. We're going to talk about that today specifically, but I want to reinforce to traders Monday to Friday is a template within that Monday to Friday template I will look for these signal days so important to understand that traders are getting uh, confused about day count we can have a three-day setup Friday Monday Tuesday yes we can have a, a three-day setup Thursday Friday Monday yes for a trade on a Monday we can have a Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, three-day setup, but that all still falls inside of a Monday to Friday template. The point I'm trying to emphasize is that there are opportunities every day if you understand what you are looking for. If you are struggling to understand, stick to Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Within that, if you are looking at an instrument and on Wednesday there is no setup you may get a trigger day or a signal day for example you could get a first red day on a Wednesday and Thursday can give you the trade on the back side of the move uh, you could have an inside day on day three on a Wednesday and have an opportunity again on a Thursday or we might get a signal day on Thursday day one day two for a parabolic move on free cash Friday so it's very simple. It's as simple as you want to make it, but I will just say this as plain and simple language as possible. Monday's day one, Tuesday's day two, Wednesday's day three. Within that, we can see other signal days. And then Wednesday resets as day one, Thursday's day two, Friday's day three in a Monday to Friday template. Now we'll look at pairs briefly for the signal days on the major pairs oil gold and indexes and how those played out it's thursday today tomorrow's free cash friday even with major red news the templates themselves still are easy to identify it only takes a minute a day to scroll through a chart to see number one whether or not you have a signal day to understand where you're at in the day count and as to whether or not we are at one of the major levels in the timing window so if you need to review that go back look through the previous videos I trade 90 percent of my trades are in the New York session one of the questions I received this week was well what about the Asian session I haven't seen any trades I'm gonna look at a specific trade this week 
which is again in the Asian session. Build a basket that reflects movement in the Asian session. Aussie, New Zealand, yen. Aussie crosses. New Zealand crosses. Yen crosses. Put gold in there. And remember, here's my approach to the market. I'm looking for one, maybe only one trade in Asia for the whole week. That's parabolic. Scalable in size that shows up every week. I don't care what instrument it's on, whether it's on day three, whether we get a day one, day two, day three, and a trade in Thursday's Asian session for a parabolic move for free cash. So instead of trying to trade one instrument and catch a move every single day in, in any direction, hunt out the instruments that give you a 90-10 best trade candidate possibility slash probability opportunity for a scalable, sizable, rinse and repeat trading setup. We're looking at the Japanese yen 15 minute chart. We're starting at Monday. We have our day one. We have day one breakout traders in the market. So Monday's broken Friday's low of the day. Day two, Tuesday, breakout traders in the market. Wednesday, day three, breakout traders in the market. No parabolic trade setup. If traders were so inclined, they had a session scalping opportunity at the high of the day back into closing price and low of the day levels on Wednesday, day three. But this also now sets us up for three days of breakout traders in the market. Day one, day two, day three, heading into our Thursday, which is day two on the backside. Wednesday is the midpoint range of the week. And that now set us up for a dump and pump template heading into our US window. So we have a market that's broken out above closing price in our London session. And prior to the US window and major red news starts to dump down into closing price level. Repeating the phrase, if a market dumps down before the session begins, think, dump, and pump. So on Thursday, day two, we have a market that has broken structure on the inside. We're on top of closing price, not only from Wednesday, but from Tuesday's session, dumping down into the major red news release at 8.30. This is a five-minute chart. We'll just blow this out a little bit further. This is our news candle right here. After major red news, we have a dump and pump engulfment news catalyst opportunity. We'll just uh, put this on for traders. We can put our universal EMA. Remember, front side, back side, a one bar stop on a five minute chart. Targeting. So, uh, you know, I've, I get people who come along and they say, well, you don't define your strategy, your risk, or anything else. Go back and watch the videos. There are two types of trades when you have a template set up with a signal day, dump and pump and pump and dump. It's a one bar stop and we're targeting range expansions as a potential level for taking profit. How do we know if the market's not behaving as it should? Well, you will be in negative right away, whereas in parabolic trade setups, you should be in the money immediately. Now, remember, this is a five minute chart. So if traders are going to be adding in, they may be adding in on a smaller time frame up until the close of this five minute candle. So we have a range expansion profit target, preset profit targets. I always preset my profit targets to take me out of the market as the market goes through a level. I lock in the money and that's the end of the trade. I'm not buying something to hold on forever. My max stop would be in this case, the five minute candle measured move, a asymmetrical risk reward profit target opportunity, three days of breakout traders in the market, day one, day two, day three, a three session reversal trade on Thursday, day two, heading into our closing range of the week. Now the US Swiss franc yesterday, we showed as a day three trend continuation trade. This is a 15 minute chart. We'll just pop our EMA. We had a New York session short trade at the New York open yesterday. We'll just highlight that candle entry for traders that took that trade. So we have day one on Monday, breakout traders, uh, triggering shorts of Friday's low of day, new week, new template, day one, day two, Tuesday, day three, continuing in the direction of the trend on Wednesday. Thursday, we have a market that at the open of the New York session is at the high of the day. We've barely touched or broken out, but we made a lower low. 
lower low on the inside, pumping up to the breakout level. We'll just highlight that breakout level from the previous day's low on Thursday, right at the New York Open. So remember one of the things with the New York Open, are you working the high or are you working the low or are you inside already in a move that's dumping or pumping? So an example of a market that goes from low of day to the breakout level, which is the current high of day at the New York Open. I'm just going to highlight this so we can get through most of the charts. A one bar stop, it's a 15 minute chart targeting a full range expansion as a profit target level. One bar stop, repeating that. So my entry candle is my max limit because if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. And this could go on a measured move in the other direction. That is my max stop loss. 9.30, pumps through the high of the day. Next 15 minute candle reverses at the high of the day into the breakout pullback for the trend continuation, a measured move which approximately gave traders in the area of 50 plus pips of zero heat parabolic collapse. And a great example of why I don't hold on. I'm taking the money. I preset my profit targets, especially when we're already day three breakout traders short in the market. Now, this is the Canadian dollar. I really like this chart, this type of template. You will see it, uh, you know, not as frequently, but this is an excellent uh, template and it reinforces opening range initial balance. We have the opening range Monday and inside day. The breakout of Monday's inside day on Tuesday and a day that pulls back inside on day three. So we have a reversal trade in the London session on Wednesday, day three. But I repeat this. Wednesday is the midpoint range of the week. Levels, high of day, low of day, closing price levels. So one of the questions I receive is, um, I don't understand why you project levels across. Those levels are significant. Those are the only three levels that I trade from. And the market will either respect those or reject them, and they will become major support or major resistance. And so we have our midpoint range of the week. On our Wednesday, we have a peak formation low made in our US session. So in terms of levels, we can just stick to our closing price level from uh, Tuesday. We made a lower low on the inside that began the pump up into our London window, into the uh, high of the day level of our midpoint range of the week and into the high of Wednesday, uh, sorry, Tuesday's breakout of the inside day trade. But then we also get a break in structure on the inside. Now, I'm going to just clarify some things. Once this market has broken the high of day level, it is in play. So you've heard me say the term Fugazi, it's inside. If you have not broken a daily level, you are chasing price movement inside, which is Fugazi to me. But once it has broken a daily level, it is in play because other time frame traders are now triggered into the market or taking positions into the market, liquidating positions at those extremes. And we get our break in structure, the pump up on major red news into our New York second hour for the short trade at the high of the day back to our low of the day levels. Now, this is an example of where Wednesday printed as a first green day with a higher close. Uh, but as I've repeated to traders, a signal day for first green day is a buy low, low of the day, buying opportunity, low of the session, if indeed it presents in the session window. So you have to be adaptable, but this is a well-engineered template for a pump and dump shorting opportunity at the high of the day. Major red news, not only for the uh, U.S. session, but also the Canadian dollar at 8.30 a.m. New York time. So two sets of major red news. We have a lower low on the inside and the pump up into our second hour. We'll just zoom in here closer. Engulfment and pin hammer from the high of the day to the low of the day level for an easy, no stress, 50 pip collapse back down. Now I'll just highlight this again for traders. One bar stop. I don't care if you get in underneath the bull candle, it's still your max stop loss is the extreme. Timings, timings, timings. Beginning of second hour, two sets of major red news, the break in structure, the one push, two push, three pushes, engulfment, 
and the collapse down through the low of the day for a zero stress, no heat, 50 pips. If you're not sure where to take profit, as soon as it breaks that low of day level, I would be trailing. But here's a simple way again, a range expansion, high of day and closing price, which is a consolidation box. So just being able to identify that this is a rectangle, we have volume trapped, and the minimum target is one full range expansion, which takes us to the low of the day on the Canadian dollar on Thursday, day two. So I'll repeat, it was first green day. Did it give us a first green day? template on the day itself first green day is a low of day low of session buying opportunity in the timing window if indeed it presents no it did not but it gave us a perfect high of day shorting opportunity in the session window for a vertical parabolic collapse in a well-engineered template on thursday day two you'll notice we've shorted it down into the low of the week level that was made on Wednesday. So we may still see some kind of opportunity heading into Parabolic Free Cash Friday. We have a higher high on the inside. Won't know until we get there over a three session setup heading into our US window. Now I also just want to kind of um, hammer home the point again. A lot of traders, you know, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Sometimes they're stuck on one or two instruments. Uh, they don't see something on Wednesday or they try to trade something on Wednesday that's not set up for a parabolic move. Uh, and they're trying to trade this stuff and then they miss the easy trade. So we have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. We have day one, day two, day three breakout traders in the market or even better. If we just project Monday's opening range across, we have three days of breakout traders in the market. We have first red day. We're just going to keep it on the 15-minute chart. You can keep things as simple as you want. Peak formations are up on top of closing price. We talked uh, about this in the community page. The open of the Europe window was a shorting opportunity right off the bat. We'll just highlight that for a parabolic collapse on first red day. Not only did we take out the low of the week, but we also targeted, uh, coming back to what I look for potentially on a day three, is a full range expansion of that upper box of price. Uh, not only did we did that, we've exceeded that. Low hanging fruit continuation in the US session. Signal day, first red day. So understand that trading on the escalator, we can look at session trades. We're on the front side of the move. Uh, and then on Wednesday, we get our signal day, first red day, and a parabolic collapse, which can be sized into. They aren't coming back, taking profits and re-entering on a low-hanging fruit opportunity after major red news. So traders, learn to sit on your hands and wait. Monday to Friday, you'll see the signal days. It's not about trying to project Friday Tuesday, uh, fr Thursday, Friday, Monday, Monday's first red day. Like the, the week is starting on Monday. Day one, day two, day three, signal day. No parabolic move on this pair. Uh, parabolic move would come from the high of the week up here. They've broken down and gone into a trading range, closed below the open, putting in peak formation highs into the closing price level trapping volume above the closing price from Wednesday, that becomes a neckline. Trap volume above, a lower low on the inside heading into our Europe open window. Pump and dump, first red day, high of day, high of session, shorting opportunity, if indeed it presents. This trade outweighs 10 of these little piker choppy catchy moves you can size into this it's not coming back now looking at the british pound uh, this is an example not quite as obvious uh, first red day as the euro but still uh, close below the open now we had a lower low that put in a peak formation back up into our peak formation just into the close of the window did not take out the high of day we have our peak formations up and so this was a little bit trickier, but taking into account three days of breakout traders in the market, 
Timings, levels, behavior of price. How does price behave in our timing window when we get there? We're at the Europe London open. We've made a lower low similar to the euro at the end of the first hour, the Europe hour, heading into our London open. Lower low on the inside, a pump and dump engulfment two bar reversal at the London open at closing price level. Now, I want to just uh, state to traders it's a one bar stop. It's a one bar stop. So People say, oh, you know, it looks good in hindsight and everything else. If you master hindsight and you can count to three and tell time, you can make a lot of money. Let's just take this little two-bar pattern and project that down as a potential range expansion target. If we drag this now to the high and low of that little pump and dump, we get a 200% expansion. So we reach the low of the day. We can take money off at the end of our 12 candle window. Uh, on the first range expansion, whatever traders want to do, or leave a trailer, but understand we have major red news and a low-hanging fruit continuation for the second full range expansion opportunity. Uh, in any of these cases, remember, I'm trading from levels. So if I'm trading on a level at low of the day level, I'm looking to get filled as close or as uh, best fill possible on the way back down for the continuation on the second full range expansion. So let's just back this up. Day one, day two, day three. A low of the day buy session trade, perhaps if traders hung around later in the session. Nothing up top for a parabolic collapse. But we have a subtle first red day. So let's take a, a little bit closer look now at this first red day template heading into the new day. Peak formation low, peak formation high, consolidation. That's a day zero template heading into our first red day. A lower low at the end of our first hour window. Lower low on the inside, I repeat, is the setup for the pump and dump. Front side, back side. So sitting on your hands sometimes, maybe you participated in the explosive breakout trade on day two. One trade up, one trade down. Probably made 10 times more than traders made trying to scalp all day long, in and out, in and out, in and out, on choppy little movement, hoping to catch a move or get lucky. Step back, understand that these trades are driven by other time frame traders. Day one, day two, day three. Signal day, then on the day itself, is it a well-engineered template that aligns with that signal day? As we saw on... Uh, Canadian dollar, we can get a signal day, but how does price behave on the day in our timing window? It gave us a first green day. We got a high of day, perfect selling opportunity at the New York Open. Timings, levels, behavior of price. Now, this is an amazing uh, opportunity for traders today. Several traders hit the oil trade, but I want to uh, just focus on the process. So remember, starting every week for me. I start every week fresh, Monday's day one. I don't drag everything if market has broken levels or there's a three-day setup on a Monday, fantastic. But come back to the understanding that when a new week starts, we have a new template. Monday's day one. Tuesday breaks out. Day one breakout traders in the market. Day one longs. I'll just make this a little simpler to see. Wednesday gave a parabolic Shorting trade into the New York Open that took out the low of the day and came back into breakout traders. We talked about that in yesterday's video and went parabolic. First green day. First green day on Tuesday. A close that is above the open. Day one breakout traders in the market and first green day on Wednesday. Parabolic free cash Wednesday gave not only a shorting trade at the New York Open into breakout traders from, from Tuesday, but gave a low of the day, low of the session buying opportunity, first green day trade, um, free cash Wednesday. So opportunities in both directions. And that brings us to Thursday. We have day two breakout traders in the market, day two long. So we'll just actually highlight this. Not only did they break out, but they stayed broken out and we're out of balance. And on Thursday, day two after our closing a midpoint range of the week has pumped up. We have three days of breakout traders in the market. 
a lower low underneath the low of the day and a pump from the midpoint range of the week, which begins our day three breakout traders in the market. A large pump and dump opportunity, uh, similar to what we saw on the Japanese yen, but reversed that, which was a dump and pump opportunity. West Texas gave us the pump and dump opportunity. So the market pumps up and makes a high of the day level in the beginning of our uh London window, the gap time, they dump it down, they pump it back up. Major red news, New York Open pins the high. So we'll zoom in. So we talked about this repeatedly, uh, timings. So traders are often stuck staring at little bars trying to guess which one to get into. When I tell traders, I'm looking at the clock. So we have a pin hammer uh, heading into our third hour. They've pinned the top. They've put a pin hammer. Traders are buying this into the high of the day on day three breakout traders in the market. And what do we get? Uh, 15 minutes into our second hour at the half hour mark, 30 minutes, the engulfment. And look also where that candle closes. If we project that across, we have trapped volume above that level, all above that level and that market collapses and goes parabolic. 30 minutes into the third hour, not only have we engulfed, but we've engulfed the pin hammer uh, opening price. For a one bar stop, 15 minute chart, if you wanna get in on the smaller time frame, obviously this thesis would be confirmed there also. Point I'm making is understanding not only signal days, but when you're looking for something, we have our front side of the week, day one, day two, day three, Wednesday resets comes our midpoint range of the week, day one, day two, a parabolic collapse on Thursday for a sizable five-star opportunity. Congratulations to the traders that hit this trade. This is a just a beautiful chart and the importance of locking in the money when we take out these levels. Congratulations, traders. Uh, this is a very lucrative trade today. Parabolic trades will explode your trading account fast. All these other little swings and catches and moves are great, and that's super. But if you sit back and you wait, you understand when you can size into these opportunities, which are rinse and repeat. They show up every week, different, different setups, different templates, but this is free cash. They're not coming back. They're not going to let any of this volume out. So just observe the three levels. High of day, low of day, closing price. Where is all the volume trapped? Not only above closing price, we can go right up and the bulk of that volume is trapped above the high of day level on day three breakout traders in the market. We're looking at the NASDAQ 100 and uh, Monday, day one, day two, Monday outside day. We talked about this in yesterday's video. Tuesday and inside day. That's a coil. That's a day zero coil. Peak formation high. Let me just highlight this. Uh, we talk about this in the playbook, a three-day template. Peak formation high, peak formation low. Consolidation inside day. And a parabolic move on Wednesday, which I'll just bring this back down to closing price. Uh, we get a range expansion in our London session on day three that goes parabolic, but also gave a high of month breakout for an awesome reversal trade yesterday on Wednesday, day three. And that gave us a first red day. So it's signal days. Signal days is what we're talking about. Peak for lower peak formation high made in the US window, which forms our pump up level into major red news today. So observing a lower low as the market closed and the pump and dump template, but more visually noticeable is that again the closing price acts as a neckline lower low on the inside pumping up into major red news and the new york market opening right at our closing price level so again 15 minute chart i'm just painting the larger template this was an easy parabolic collapse back through the low of the week I'll just draw that level uh, from monday's low of the week uh, easy free cash all the way down and number one, just coming back to understanding the templates. Day one, day two, day three, Wednesday resets, but we have a signal day. 
front side of the move is going up. The back side of the move is going down. So you've heard me use that term, front side, back side. Uh, and in simple terms, here's the front side and there's the back side. That's a pump and dump. If it's a dump and pump, guess what? There's the front side. There's the back side. What we saw in the Japanese yen. So stepping back, being willing to sit on your hands and not worried, try to, you know, trade every day unless you have a five-star opportunity and understanding is that a five-star session trade for 50, 75, 25 pips, whatever that is for free cash where it's going to go uh, parabolic even for a session trade or do you have a three-day five-star all-in opportunity? And when they do penetrate these levels and continue knowing to be taking the money at some point, locking in the profits, uh, not letting them come back. So, these signal days, these trigger days show up every week and, uh, you know, traders want to watch. They want a, you know, detailed breakdown of the same trades every week. You need to get in the trenches. You need to trade it yourself. You need to learn how to trade. You need to be able to manage yourself when you're in live time. You need to be able to manage your emotions. You need to be able to understand when you put a stop loss in place in your you're in the right setup. Your price is behaving as it should. You need to step back and not interfere. I don't trail stuff. I trail it right after it's gone through a level. If I'm if I'm looking for a range expansion and it breaks through a level and it's auctioning, I'm trailing that down if it reverses to take me out. I'm not putting a trailing stop in midway and they throw a spike up and take me out of a winning trade. I don't get shaken out of a winning trade. You need to hardwire yourself through all these circumstances. You need to develop the discipline and the process skills day in and day out. How long does it take me to walk through a chart? One minute. How long does it take to see a signal day? One minute. What day is it today? It's Tuesday, day two. Do I have a trend trade opportunity? Do I have a messy chart? Is it an inside day? What is it? If it's nothing, what's the next chart? What's the next chart? What's the next chart? Simple. So traders think that it's got to be complicated. You got to mix it, compare it to the commitments of traders, the the dollar index, the bonds, all this other garbage. It's bullshit. Simple. Signal days. Which instrument? Somebody asked me, why do I only trade currencies? I don't even know where they got that from. I don't care what I trade. If there's an opportunity and it's set up right, or even just on the day itself, it could be a very well engineered template on the day for just a dump and pump or a pump and dump opportunity for 50 easy free cash pips. Is it sizable? Maybe. Maybe on that day it is because there's other time frame traders driving that template on the day. The bigger three day setups are there. Day one, day two, day three. Master the templates. I will repeat this in closing. Monday is day one. Tuesday is day two. Wednesday is day three. Wednesday resets and becomes day one, heading into our closing range of the week. Thursday's day two, Friday's day three. I'm the one who's trading that. That's my playbook. That's my templates. Stick with it. Easy, free cash. That's what I do. I don't overcomplicate it because guess what? Next week will be the same thing. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I'm going to find the instruments that give me the free cash. So while other people are doing all this other stuff, good luck reproducing that. It sounds great. sounds super. Good luck reproducing it and good luck finding sizable opportunities every day. Every day. There's traders doubling their account this week, doubling their account. I bet you some traders doubled their account today on oil alone, if not tripled it, because they sized into that. They knew what they were doing. So, that's trading psychology, having an edge and knowing all the nuances, knowing when it's not right, knowing when to walk away and not sit there trying to trade movement and scalp and keep getting in. I'm, You know, you got a few winners, so you keep trading and you give back double what you made today. Screw your head on tight. Sit down and do the work. Step back. If it's not there, don't trade it. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, there's going to be Parabolic opportunities, whether they're trend trades or reversal trades. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Today's Thursday. We've had we've had uh, amazing opportunities almost every single day this week, whether it was a session trade 
or parabolic sizable opportunities. It's there every single week. The majority of you know that. You've been following me for a long time. Master these setups. Don't do things that will sabotage your good results. Keep scaling it up in size. Trade less, trade bigger on five-star opportunities. Keep it simple, traders, 1% better every single day. And may the markets go with you.